Beer can chicken, step aside. Top can chicken is what we need to be talking about today. Today we are making top can chicken. A common barbecue recipe is beer can chicken, where you quite literally take a can of beer and put it inside of chicken before you smoke it. But we are not using beer today. Instead, we are using a trusty old Dr. Pepper. We are gonna be taking this can of pop, putting it inside of our chicken, so that while we smoke it, it'll get nice and sweet and packed full of flavor. Smoking this chicken on the pit boss is gonna add in a bunch of smoke flavor, which is really gonna make this recipe pop. Are you guys ready? Let's get to smoking. So this is the bird that we're gonna be smoking today. So now we're just gonna come in here, some paper towel, and we're gonna pat our chicken dry. So now we're gonna trim up the chicken, and I'm gonna start by coming down here and getting off this extra fat and skin. Then I'm gonna come over to this side, repeat the same process on this other side over here. Now you see it's just a little bit more cleaned up down here. Now we're gonna come and we're gonna trim up this neck bone. You just wanna come in here and get this all cut off right here. And then to actually get the neck bone out, we're gonna take a pair of scissors and we're gonna cut it off. Then we'll come down here to the little tailbone. We're gonna take our scissors, snip off a little bit of the skin and we're gonna cut this off. So this is what your chicken should look like down here on this side. And this is what your chicken should look like around the neck. And today we're using Kinder's salt, pepper, garlic. So first we're gonna start out by seasoning up the wing, the flat and the drum over in this area. Just go ahead and get it covered up in a whole bunch of seasoning. Now we're gonna season up the breast, make sure you get the top of it, and then just give a nice thick heavy coat all the way down that breast. Then we're gonna season up this drumstick, make sure you get that back side a little bit. Then we're just gonna lift it up, get in all these little corners, and that looks about good. Now we're gonna come back to the other side, and we wanna get this wing all nice and seasoned up. Make sure you get in that armpit. Now we're gonna start at the top of the breast, lay it down, then make sure we get a nice heavy coat all the way down the breast down to the butt. Now we're gonna start out with this drumstick and just gonna get a nice little pop of flavor on this bad boy. Make sure you guys are lifting up, you know, kind of getting in all these cracks and crevices. Now before you flip it over, just go ahead and kind of pat this seasoning in a little bit. Just make sure it sticks up to this bird. Now I'm gonna go ahead and lift up this bad boy and get in the cavity down this way. And there's no real science to this. Just go ahead and splash some seasoning in. Then go ahead and sit your bird upright and we're gonna go back in the cavity this way. Just go ahead and give it a nice little shake and bake on the inside. Now we're gonna season up the back side of this bird and we're just gonna let loose and give it a nice little shake and bake all over the whole entire thing until every little bit gets nice and seasoned up that looks just about good to me so now that this bird is all seasoned up it's time to get out my secret weapon for today's video this is a beer can chicken although i don't have any beer we're gonna be using pop i'm choosing to use dr pepper today i think that's gonna give it a nice sweet hint of flavor keep the inside nice and moist so let's go ahead and get it on the contraption and today's video is sponsored by dr pepper just kidding it's not i don't have any sponsors because i'm a bum and nobody likes me but we're gonna use our product today the reason I'm using Dr. Pepper is so that's really all I have. There's no reason. I don't have any beer on hand because when I drink beer, uh, I make everybody around me kind of really mad. Just so say it's not good for me to drink alcohol. I've learned that lesson in life. Maybe very special occasions. But yeah, anyways, besides the point, we're gonna go ahead and get this open. So we'll go ahead, open it up. Oh crap. I did not plan for that to happen. I promise you. Okay, so we wanna drink this. Done right here, like two thirds. I have no idea why, by the way. I've just seen other people do it. So I'm just literally copying what other people have done. I've never cooked a beer can chicken. This is my first one. But everybody says that you need to have lukewarm pop. It can't be cold and you want to have it two thirds of the way down. I'm assuming if it's too high, it could bubble over or if it's too cold, it'll keep the center of your chicken cold. That's my best guess. So we're going to go ahead and get it into our contraption. So we're going to go ahead and place our pop can in there and it fits. I would have been really upset if it didn't. And now for my first attempt at doing this, we're just going to go ahead and see what happens. Wow. Okay. Hold on. This is actually just slid in there. I thought I was going to have issues. And now uh, we're just going to Put these back here, like he's just kind of chilling on the beach, hanging out, having a nice day. Look at how relaxed he looks. He looks like he's just nice and relaxed. I don't really know what to do with these legs. Maybe I could like oh, spread them out like that. Does that look weird on camera? Look, he's chilling, he's doing the splits. Look at that. I think that's how we're gonna smoke him today. Wouldn't that be funny if we did that? I don't know if you're supposed to do that. Oh, it looks like he's squatting. Look at him, he, or he's like power lifting. He has like a, like a dumbbell up here, like a barbell. He's like squatting. All right, just kidding. I've had too much fun today, but I really don't know what to do with him. 
So I'm just gonna try and cross them down here like this. And this is how we're gonna smoke today. So now that we have our pop can stuck up on our chicken, our bird is ready for the smoker. Today we're using the Pit Boss Austin XL. And today we're gonna be using some competition blend pellets. We're gonna go ahead and dump those bad boys into our hopper. Then we're gonna turn on our smoker to 225 degrees. When you first start up the Pit Boss, it lets out a lot of dirty smoke. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our lid and kind of fan some of that dirty smoke out. And then once all that is away and it's burning a clean smoke, we're gonna go ahead and get our lid shut down. Then we're gonna wait for our smoker to come up to temperature. And once it's at the right internal temperature, it's gonna be game time. All right, so we're gonna open up the pit boss and we're just gonna slide it in here. And we're just gonna try to push it down a little bit cause it's kind of uh, right here close to the top. Maybe get to lean forward a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead, shut it down, let it sit in the smoke. So now that our chicken is on the smoker, we're just gonna let it hang out for a good hour. We're smoking at a lower temperature, so I definitely know for this whole bird to cook all the way, it's gonna take a lot more than one hour. So there's nothing left for us to do. I'll see you guys at the one hour mark. So here at the one hour mark, we are looking at about a temperature of around 115 degrees. We're getting there, but we're not quite there yet. Let's shut it down and keep waiting. Here at the two hour mark, we're pushing about 135. And if you guys want this, Thermopen, I got links down in the description. Here we are at the three and a half hour mark, and hey, we are finally done. All right, you guys, we are inside now, and it is time to take a bite. But before we do, I just wanna do a quick recap of what it was that I did today. I started out by patting my chicken dry, then we threw some seasoning on there, then we got it on our pop can. We put in some competition blend pellets, turned it on to 225 degrees, let all that dirty smoke get out, then we shut it down, let it come up to the right internal temperature, threw our chicken on, we checked it at the one hour mark, we checked it at the two hour mark, and at the three hour and 30 minute mark, it was finally done. But I do wanna tell you guys that at about the two and a half hour mark, I cranked the temperature up to about uh, 250 to 300 degrees, somewhere in between there, and I let it finish out the whole way. I had to do this because my kid's waking up from a nap soon, and I couldn't let it finish out at 225 degrees, so that's why. So if you wanna get as much smoke in here as possible, do it at 225, it'll probably take you about four hours, uh, maybe a little longer, so just plan for that. So without further ado, let's just get into it. So the first thing that I'm taking off today is I just want to rip this swing right off of here. All right, so our first test is going to be this flat. It's really hot. I didn't let it rust. Please let it rust. It is hot. That wasn't bad. There's a lot of seasoning on here and you really get a taste of salt, pepper, and garlic. That is what this chicken tastes like. And it has a nice grill, a nice smoke taste. We did a really good job, but let's try the breast. All right, so we're just gonna come in here. I just wanna shave some of this breast off. We're gonna give it a bite. Skin's nice and crispy. Looks pretty juicy. Not too bad for a chicken breast. Although again, it is a chicken breast. It's not gonna be brisket. I see you guys in the comments saying, well, that's not juicy. It's not a brisket, dude. It's a chicken breast. So it's not gonna be juicy like a brisket would be. You gotta remember what you're cooking. But for a chicken breast, I'd give this about a good B. It looks pretty nice. So here we go. Hmm. Wow. Not bad. Definitely has some nice bit of smoke. Seasoning's really awesome. All in all, it's a really good flavor. I definitely like smoking chicken like this. I've done some at like 300 degrees all the way through or 250 all the way through, but I really like this doing it at 225. Maybe I'll even try one at 200 in the future. I don't know. Unfortunately, this is all the time that I have for today. I have to go to work. If enough of you like and subscribe to the channel and watch these videos and share it with your friends, maybe we can hang out even longer and more often throughout the week. So go ahead and do that for me guys that make a fat guy happy. And you know what your mom said, just gotta make fat guys happy. That's what she told you. you. Gotta make the fat guys happy. So hope you guys have a great day, night, or whatever time it is when you found this video and I will see you in the next video. Peace.